So in this video, we're going to cover how to update our YouTube channel banner image, how to update our channel icon, how to update our channel watermark, the little thing we see on the bottom right corner of some videos. We're also going to cover how to update all of the about info about your YouTube channel page, how to add a description, add a description to multiple languages, how to add an email address for people to get in touch with you, and how to add up to five links to whatever website you want to, put them inside your banner image. So let's get to it. This video is part of a series where we're creating a brand new YouTube channel from scratch, specifically for brands, but anyone can follow along and uh, make this as a new YouTube channel. So we are on our brand new blank page that YouTube sent us after it created our channel. And we're just gonna come up here and click customize channel. This is gonna open up YouTube Studio. And if you're opening this for the first time, it's gonna give you a little bit of a tour of uh, where the settings are and some things that you can do, but you're here in this video, so you can just check it out right now. So we're on here, it's gonna take us to the customization bar on the side, uh, the customization section. And the first part we're gonna see is the layout of how we want our channel page to appear and how we wanna group things. We're not gonna cover that right now. We're gonna cover that in a future lesson of organizing playlists and creating a nice look and organizing all of our content on our YouTube channel. So when someone comes to our channel for the first time, they get a nice presentation and they can kind of see what our channel is all about. But in this case, we're not going to do that. We're going to go up here to branding. And this is where we can add our elements uh, that we're going to, our graphic elements that apply to our entire channel. So the main one is going to be our channel picture, our channel icon. This is what's going to appear next to your channel name everywhere. Right now it defaulted to my Google headshot, but you can swap this out with your logo, swap it out with a picture of yourself, different photo. I like to have something also that has some bright colors in it so it can be quickly identifiable when someone's scrolling and they kind of recognize that red. Coming down, we are going to adjust the banner image. So YouTube, Google used to have a template of like the best way to design your banner image because it has a lot of quirky specs. YouTube used to have like a Photoshop template of this and kind of disappeared. But if you head over to the links below in the description, we will have our own template that you can download and we're not gonna make that disappear. So you can go check that out. All right, so I'm going to grab my cover image and if we preview it here, we can see center part is title safe. This is according to YouTube's guidelines. So no matter how it's going to reshuffle it, if it plays it on TV or whatever, it's not gonna cut out the center part. Uh, so that's when you, keep, when you keep your text or anything important. And then there's other stuff, you can have some design, but for the most part, this is gonna be cropped out unless someone's watching this on uh, YouTube TV. So we're gonna load in our banner image and they will confirm what's going to be cropped out. And so you can see here, viewable on all devices. We want to, we can just double check that our text area is safe. So nothing important here, but you know, still looks cool. And then viewable on TV. And if you need to, for some reason, adjust your positioning and cropping, you can, but you should really do this in your design app, however you're designing this ahead of time. So we're going to confirm, say that looks good. And the last thing we can customize is a watermark. And so we can add either our icon. I find like a transparent PNG works better and something that's not too crazy and stands out. So usually it'll just kind of be like a white version of our logo, something a little bit subtle. And so this will appear on all of your videos in the bottom right, slightly faded out. And if anyone clicks on it, then they can, or if they hover on it, they can go to your channel or they could also subscribe. So it's just a nice way to add some professionalism and identify uh, uh, your channel, but it's a way that doesn't really interfere with the content that much. I'm not gonna upload one right now, but you can, and here are the guidelines. It's gotta be pretty small and it's gotta be a ping. Or I would recommend a ping because you could do transparency versus a JPEG. And then you just wanna confirm changes, click publish. And if we now head over to our channel, we can see that uh, we now have our banner image and text looks good, everything looks good. And also if you, a quick way, if you wanna change it, you can see now we have this camera icon. So if we click that camera icon in the future, if we wanna change our banner, and not have to go click on the tabs, we can just come right back here. All right, so that's how we get the graphics into our channel. Now let's talk about uh, adding the info about our channel, the text, the email, the contact, the links, the links are, the, are important. So if we come over to the basic info tab, we can adjust very basic settings. So we can change our channel name if we want to. We can add a description, thousand characters for adding a description. So this would be broad sense. In another video, we'll go over kind of creating a channel guide and a viewer avatar and who your channel is for. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to put that info. So if someone checks it out, they get a sense of what your channel is about, what kind of content you're posting, what kind of videos you're posting, who you're posting them for. So it gives someone 
one-stop sense of like, hey, is this channel something I want to subscribe to or is it not? Uh, you can also list any other info about your business here. I wouldn't make it too salesy. This is more to sell someone on subscribing to your YouTube channel than it is on getting someone to go to your website. And if you do operate in multiple languages, you could add uh, translations here, uh, different versions of your channel metadata by adding a language. Now over here, you can get your full YouTube channel URL. Uh, you can just click this to copy it and save that for reference. I would highly recommend running this through a link shortener so you could share it more easily and not have this big jumbled garbly gook mess. All right, and then you could add links. And so you're able to add up to five links inside your channel and the order they display does matter with how they'll display on the banner. So let's go over that. Let's add a couple of links. So let me just say, I wanna add my homepage and I'm gonna add another one. Let's say I just wanna add Twitter. And then let's say I want to add Instagram. More active on LinkedIn though. I don't even remember what my LinkedIn is because that's how my Instagram is because that's how infrequently I use it. Okay, so let's say we added these three links and down here now we have an option we could say, hey, how many links do we wanna show on the banner? So we could say no links, just the first one, the first two, first three, first five. Let me show you how that looks like in a second. And then you could add a email address on here. So if someone goes to your page and you want to have the ability for people to get in touch with you, then you can have an email address here. And so I usually just use a generic catch-all email address instead of my personal email address. Uh, you could also make it something more specific. So you know where it's coming from. And then again, we'll click publish and that'll update the changes. And now let's go check out what that looks like uh, with the links in the banner. All right, let's go to the uh, YouTube channel. Still don't have any videos, so nothing's gonna change there. But if we go to the about section, we now see we've got our description. We've got our email address, which is always gonna be protected behind a captcha confirmation. So try to prevent uh, bots from scraping your email address. Uh, and then we have our link. So whatever text we typed out with the link, we go here. You can get creative with these links. You know, you could, the title doesn't have to be the title of what the links do. You know, it could be like click to subscribe or it could be go to website. It could have a much more like a call to action type link versus just the name of the web page. And so this is where the order of those links matters. Cause up here on the top, because we had the homepage link as the first link, whatever the first link is, it's going to take the text and display the text here. And then for the following links, it's just going to show their fav icon. Uh, whatever the graphic is when you pull up that website. So it's just gonna show the icons for the following links up to the five links, but for the first one, it's gonna show the text. So that's a pretty good real estate too. Uh, going back to that, hey, maybe you don't wanna make your text the name of the link. You actually wanna make it a call to action. So if you're like offering a lead magnet, this would be a good place, you know, be like click to download, click to get our guide, click to whatever, and that could just take people directly to a landing page. Uh, so you can get creative with this uh, link because this is pretty valuable real estate where you could have a link with specific text up here that's clickable on the banner that anyone who comes to your page, no matter which tab or whatever they come to, they're going to see those links. So that's a good thing to think about as far as how you want to utilize that real estate. And you know, if you could send people to one spot off of YouTube to your site or to any of your properties, links, landing pages, where would you want to send them to? What would you, what would you want to have them to do? That's what you want to think about. All right. That was a pretty basic overview of how we can update and personalize our YouTube channel. You really want this to tie into, if this is a brand account, you want this to tie into the visual look of your website and all of your other visual assets. And in a future video, this is also, you want this to tie into the sort of look and feel of your videos, of how your thumbnails play out, how your uh, video graphics play out. So they all sort of tie together. And that comes into the play, especially towards the beginning, when you want to outline and come up with a channel strategy, which includes, you know, mapping out the videos you're gonna do, mapping out the graphics, uh, mapping out the sort of look and feel of your channel. This all comes into play. And and this part is the execution part. So this video is part of a playlist that we've got going on, a series of creating a brand new YouTube channel from scratch. We will have another video coming out about how to create a YouTube strategy and think about all this stuff first, but this is really the execution part of like, you got your plan, now we gotta actually build and make the channel and get it all working and how to operate it correctly. So this is that series. Check out the other videos. We've got one, if you didn't already set up a channel, check that one out first. Obviously you need the channel first to do all this stuff. Uh, and then we got some more videos on setting up playlists, uh, setting up your YouTube templates, your channel description, and going through all of the settings and what they all mean inside YouTube. So check out that playlist right here. I will see you in the next video.